Good night, good night, good night. Once again, this is the Revengers of the Walls radio program. Brought you from the Guiding Light Tabernacle, Marshall, and Parsons of Gap in Trudor Bridge. We give God praise and thanks for yet another time when we can come to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. We thank God for our members and sponsors of this radio broadcast, the Guiding Light Tabernacle family. We thank God for them. We pray God's blessings upon the night. And all the lovely people from all across this nation and across the region and the wider world. We bless God for the night we pray that as the, the word is ministered, that will touch your heart, touch your life, will bring transformation and change. Any challenges in your life, Jesus Christ is able to fix. Whatever problem you are going through, he's going to meet every need, every concern he's able to help you through because he has the power to change your life and your situation. Pastor Joshua Clark is here and the Lord has the so there is something in the script to share with us tonight. And without any further ado, we're going to get it on this on the microphone over to you, Pastor Joshua. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I praise the name of the Lord. Good night to everyone. We greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We want to give God thanks for this privilege that He has given to us, this open door of opportunity to preach the word of God unto you which is so needful at this time Amen. for the building of our, of our faith and the strengthening of our souls, which will give us that encouragement to hold on even in times like these. Amen. And That's even right. when we do not know what to do, we need to hear a word from God. Praise the name of the Lord. I That's trust right. that you all mothers had a wonderful day yesterday. We had a wonderful day at our uh, church yesterday with the mothers. I pray God's continued blessing upon them. We also want to remind you tonight that we are going to be having some special services in our prayer conference coming up from the 22nd of May, this month, to the 25th. And those are going to be some power pack dynamic services which are catered to build you up in your faith. Amen. Around this time, we know it's a festival of Pentecost, and we like to highlight the importance of the Holy Spirit Amen, in the right. church Amen. and also in the life of the believer. And one thing that I say to you tonight that God has given to us his Holy Spirit and he has not left us here to struggle. That's right. Amen. He says in, in, in his word, in the word that he is going back to his father and he's going to pray to him to send another comforter. Amen. And we see on the day of Pentecost, he did that. He That's sent right. the Holy Spirit. And so we don't have to go through our Christian life struggling and uh, not able and all of these things. But God has given us the Holy Spirit who is our helper. And I want to tell you, we're going to have some wonderful dynamic nights. So we have some speakers, praise the name of the Lord, that's going to speak and tell forth the word of God. And I know they're going to be powerful in their delivery. Amen. And I'm inviting you to these services, those who have been blessed by the program. I want to encourage you to come out to the services and be blessed and be strengthened in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight we want to look to the Word of God, and I want you to get your Bibles, your tablets, and we want to look to the book of Second Chronicles, a very familiar passage, chapter 7, and the two verses that we want to leave with you is from verse 14, and also, very importantly, verse 19. And it says here in verse 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Well, we normally quote that verse and we leave it there. But in verse 19, we must go further down and we read because this is the Lord speaking to Solomon and these words from the Lord has conditions attached to it. That's right. He says in verse 19, if you're following with me in your Bibles, he says, But if you turn away and forsake the decrees and commands I have given you, and go off to serve other gods and worship them, he says, Then will I uproot Israel from my land, which I have given them, and will reject this temple that I have consecrated for my name. Seriously here tonight, he says, I will make it a byword and an object of ridicule among all peoples. Last week while I was here, I was speaking on spiritual landmarks. Right. And I would have said to you that God has laid down his word 
some spiritual landmarks. And we were warned in the book of Proverbs that we are not to remove the ancient landmarks. I speak to them physically, but I also spoke to them spiritually last week. That's right. And uh, the word of God here in, in this verse 19 is, is saying that we should not turn away or forsake the decrees and the commands. Speaking back to those ancient landmarks, the things that God uh, would have set in order, those things, instructions that God would have given to us as people to follow and to obey, if we remove them, then we will bring um, havoc on our lives. Right. This is the man of God, the King Solomon. And after he would have finished praying, the Lord would have revealed himself in a dream. And he would have told him that he would have heard his praise. And you know, at that time, they were dedicating the temple. He would have been building his um, palace and all of that. And he would have made many offerings before the Lord. And so the Lord visited him and let him know that he had answered his praise and that he had chosen the place as a temple for our sacrifices. But then the Lord began to go on and speak to him and, and then cause him to understand. He says to him, if I shut the heavens, and if we see here as the Lord is speaking to Solomon, the, the Lord is letting Solomon understand that he is the God who is in control of the elements. That's right. He's the God who is in control of man. He's the God who is in control of the whole universal world. Yeah. He says, if I, if I shut up the heavens so that there be no rain, mm -hmm. or if I command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, this is what he's saying. If my people who are called by my name, and we look within this passage and we're going to see some things that God wants his people to do. Yeah. And the first one, is to humble Sorry. ourselves. Right. We right. as people and people of God are called by God. And I want to say this is what the Lord is saying tonight, just as he said it to, to Solomon. This is what the Lord says to us. Right. Even right. as a nation and as a people, God wants us to humble ourselves. Right. And as I look at this nation of Barbados and I reflect, I see the goodness of God on every hand and every side. Yes, I see God's favor upon us as a people. Amen. I see God's divine protection yes, in the good times, in the bad times, and in everything God has shown his love and his mercy towards us time Amen. or time. Yes, but right. as we look across this land, we are seeing that sometimes the more that God does, the people becomes more ungrateful. Right. Yes, there are some who are grateful, but then overall we see people could becoming more ungrateful, right. murmuring and complaining right. instead of giving God thanks. Right. And this is what the word of the Lord came to Solomon saying concerning the people. God wanted the people to understand that they must humble themselves. Amen. And when we talk about humble themselves, we are talking about recognizing that there's someone who is greater than you. Amen. Recognizing that there's someone who is above you, someone who is to be respected, someone who is to be revered. Right. And Amen. we must all recognize that it is God who has made us and not we ourselves. And so it, it, it behooves every one of us to humble ourselves as the word of God tells us in James chapter 4, verse 10, that we are to humble ourselves before the Lord, so, and yeah. he is going to lift us up. You see, I find that uh, what is happening is that people are looking unto man to bring help to them. But I want to say that man can only help you a certain way and That's no right. more. The word of God reminds us that except the Lord build a house, right. they labor in vain Amen. that baby. And except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wake him, but in vain. Amen. So overall, we have to understand that God wants for us to look to him. Amen. God was telling Solomon, when there is trouble, when there is pestilence, when there is anything that is happening in the land, all I want my people to do is to humble Amen. themselves Amen. and to look to me. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God tells us, in Isaiah 55, verse 67, he says, Let the wicked forsake his way, 
and the evil man his thoughts. And let him do what? Let him turn to the Lord. You see, I want to say to us tonight that God, he loves us. Amen. He yes, cares sir. about us. He yes. cares about the smallest detail in our lives. And he is not to, to do us harm. God wants to, 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 to do us good. Yes. God yes. wants to favor us. God yes. wants to prosper us. Oh, yes. But the only way that this is going to come about, uh, he expects us as his people to humble oh, ourselves uh, before him. Uh, remove the pride. Remove the arrogance. Remove the smelling words, remove the disrespect for one another, and humble ourselves, as the word of God says, under the mighty hands of God. Look to see what you are doing and the direction in which you are going, and to forsake that way which is not good, those thoughts which are not good, and turn to the Lord. And the word of God tells us that he will have mercy on us, Amen. and that he will freely pardon God wants to forgive, and God wants to pardon, yeah. and God wants us to go in the right way. But it all um, begins with the steps, with the instructions that God will give to us. I want to say to us tonight that God is not um, a convenient God. That's right. Amen. That uh, when you are only in trouble, that is the only thing that you can call on Him. But God would expect from us that as we humble ourselves, and recognize that he is God, that we'll be able to call on him in the good times and also call on him even in the bad times. Amen. And that we will walk before him and that we will please him even in the things that we do. The word of God tells me in Micah chapter 6 verse 8, He has shown thee, O man, what is that good way? And what does the Lord require of you? You see, there are requirements for us to fulfill. And God is requiring from us, according to the prophet Michael, is that we would walk humbly before the Lord. Amen. This is what the Lord is requesting of us. He asks us that we will do justly yes. and to walk humbly. humbly. And when I speak Amen. of humbly, God wants us to walk softly before him. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Some people uh, behave themselves as though they make themselves. Lord. They can say what they say. They can do what they want to do. But it doesn't. It doesn't work like that. So, praise the name of the Lord. We have to recognize that there is a God that is above us. Amen. And he expects us to go in his way. Because if we don't, we're going to see further down what can happen. The Lord says in his word that we are to humble ourselves. What next does he say? What is the next criteria? He says that we are after prayer. Prayer is communication with God. Amen. Prayer Amen. is the means by which we make our petitions and we make our needs and requests known unto God. Amen. The only way that God is going to know, not that he doesn't know, but I'm here and I say, when we humble ourselves and when we pray, and prayer involves repentance. Amen. Prayer That's involves right. a, a petition and it also involves a thanksgiving and Amen. praise yes. unto God. Yes. And so God wants us to pray and to look to him. Praise the name of the Lord. He is our source. He is our help. He is where our help comes from. Amen. Praise the name of everyone and every man must look to him because he is the source of our lives. And he, he tells us in his word that we are to humble ourselves and we are also to prayer. Amen. Amen. Communicate with him. Talk to him. Let him know our needs. Let him know our requests. Let him know that we love him and appreciate him for the things that he does on a continuing basis to us. Amen. The word of God tells us in 1 John 5, 14, and this is the boldness that we have as I'm talking about prayer tonight, that, that we have toward him, that if we ask anything uh, according to his will, he heareth us. This is the word of God to us, but he expects us to ask. The word of God tells us that we have not because we ask not. So praise the name of the Lord. God is ready to give to us. It's the Father's delight to give us the, uh, the keys to the kingdom, to give us uh, and to favor us. But we must ask. We must petition. We must have that heart of repentance of where we acknowledge where we have gone wrong yeah. and we repent of the things that we have done and displeasing in the sight of God and then we can uh, look to him and offer him our petition and then with thanksgiving we can wait on him to come true for us. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God tells us that we are supposed to come 
praise the name of the Lord, after acknowledging where we have been to come boldly to his throne so that we can obtain what? Mercy and help even in the time of need. Amen. First John 5, 15 reminds us about praying. He says, if, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, and we know that we have whatever we ask of him. We have that confidence that when we humble ourselves and we go to our heavenly father, that he will hear from heaven and that he will even come true and leave a blessing behind us. We don't have to pull out our hair. We don't have to live in despair. But the word of God reminds us in Philippians 4, 6, that we should not be anxious about anything, right. but in every situation, whether it's good or bad, don't just wait to go to the Lord only when it is bad. But in every situation, you can go to him. Mm -hmm. And by prayer, the word of God says, and petition with thanksgiving, present your request unto the Lord. So the Lord says to Solomon, this is the criteria. If the people want the land to be healed, this is the criteria that they must meet. They must humble themselves. They must pray. And then he says, they must seek My his dear. face. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We must seek the Lord's face. And so many times we seek his hands only for his blessings and what he can give to us. But the Lord wants us to go past that. Because when you look at it, God has been blessing us time or time. We see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Every morning we await, we see the goodness of God. God has not disappointed any of us. And so all he expects from us is to seek him. Amen. Not only his hands, but his face. To see what he requires of of us to see what his will for us in our lives is uh, praise the name of the lord right. it goes from just asking uh, to, to seeking his face uh, praise the name of the lord in james uh, verse 4 um, it tells us that we must draw near to god and he will come near yeah, to right. us right. and that we must wash our hands uh, and purify our hearts from every trace of double-mindedness. This is what it means in seeking the Lord's face. Because in the natural, when you want to find gold or silver, you just don't look at the surface and expect that you're going to find That's it. Right. You have to dig for it. Amen. You have to look for it. And the word of God reminds us in Jeremiah 29, 3 tells us, you will seek for me and you will find me. Yes. Praise the name of God. The Lord is not going to um, hide himself from us and don't want us to, to find him. Amen. He wants us to find him as we seek him. He says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with what? Oh, All heart. of oh, your heart. Amen. This is what the Lord requires of us. Praise the name of the Lord. In Psalm 14, verse 2, I'm giving you the word of God. He yeah. says, the Lord looks down from heaven on all my God. Don't you know tonight that the Lord is looking down? And he's looking down at all my God, everywhere across the globe. The eyes of the Lord runs to and fro. He beholds the good and he sees the evil. I want to say that God intervenes and he looks into the affairs of men. Amen. And so he looks down from heaven on all mankind. And what does he look down to see? He says to see if there are any who understand and any who seek God. That is what the psalmist tells him. He looks down to see if there are any that understand and any whose hearts are after him, who will seek after him, after his presence, after who he is. Praise the name of the Lord. And so the, the word of God, as Solomon was crying out to God and asking God that he will remember them in, in mercy, that he will come up to their help. God says to him, if the people that I call are called by my name. Well, let's do this things. Humble themselves, pray, and seek my face. He says, I am going to hear from heaven. And I am going to forgive their sins. And he says, I am going to heal their land. Amen. I want to say to us tonight that God wants to heal the land. And when we say heal the land, what are we speaking of? God wants to heal the land physically. That's right. He wants to heal the land spiritually. But how is it going to come about? It's going to come about when the people of God um, humble themselves, yeah. prayer, yeah. seek his face, Amen. when they um, um, turn from their wicked ways. And the you know, Bible says he will heal their land as a result of this. And so I am giving you the word of God. I am um, heralding this message across these areas tonight to whosoever will hear my voice because 
This is what the Lord is saying. Just as he spoke to Solomon in that dream, this is what the Lord is saying to Barbados. This is what the Lord is saying to those in the region. This is what the Lord is saying across the globe, that Amen. he needs his people to humble themselves and to seek his face and to call upon his name. And he is going to be the one who will bring the turnaround for you. The turnaround in your life and the healing is not going to come any other way. That's I right. want to tell you, I cannot present to you tonight any shortcuts. I have to present to you the truth Amen. of the word of God. That's right. You see, when God speaks, there are conditions that have to be met. God is not going, as I said last week, God is not going to lower his standards for anyone. We must come up to the requirements of God. Amen. Praise the name of God. We must respect his word because he said when his word goes up from his mouth, he said it is not going to return void unto him, but it has to accomplish. Is there anyone tonight in the hearing of my voice as God looks down from heaven? Is there anyone that hearing of my voice that is seeking his face, that is crying out for his will and for his divine purpose to be worked out. The word of God tells us in Psalm 40, verse 16, but may all who seek you, this is seeking the Lord, rejoice and be glad. And in you may those who long for your saving help always say, the Lord is great. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray tonight, even as I, 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 I minister this word, that there will be a turn up in your spirit. Because I know that there are many things that have come in and have distracted, many things that have turned uh, people's hearts aside from seeking after the Lord. And we are living in a world now where there is a seeking after the, the material, they are seeking That's after right. the temporal, That's the right. things that are, are going to fade away. Yeah. But God is uh, uh, speaking to his people, calling them again, praise the name of the Lord, yeah. calling them to himself uh, to seek his face. Uh, you want to see your, your family here? You want to see your land heal. You want to see your economy heal. You want to see turn around. Well, this is the way that God said it's going to come. Amen. When we humble ourselves right. and we see as we look around, there's so much proud people on the earth. Praise the name. Some that even believe that they don't need God anymore. Uh, this very God that would have brought them, this very God that would have blessed them and caused them to be where they are right. tonight. Some of them have got to the place now. They don't even want to call that name. They don't even want to respect him. But I want to tell you that God is still looking down from the heaven tonight. Right. And he is still looking for people who will humble themselves, a people who will seek his face, right. a people right. who will cry out. Last time I ministered the word of God from Ezekiel, and the word of God said that God was looking for a man right. who right. was standing the gap, a man who will make up the hedge, right. a man who will cause God's hands to be uh, turned back, yes. and his judgment to be a peace. Right. And God is still looking for people today who will cry out to him right. and who will look to him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I pray tonight as the word of God goes forward that we will humble ourselves and we will put ourselves Amen. in place to seek the Lord so that we can see the turnaround that we are so longing for. But what I notice as I look at verse 19 of this chapter 7, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, it is very serious. God gives a criteria, but then he, he speaks to Solomon and he says, Solomon, this is what I want you to take note of. Yes. He says, if you turn away and forsake the decrees and commands that I have given you. You see, it's conditional. If it's conditional. Yes. Right. If, he, if you turn away and you forsake the decrees and the commands which I have given you, listen to this carefully, and go off to serve other gods and worship them. He says, then I will, he was speaking to Israel at the time, and he says, then I will uproot you yes. from the land. Mm -hmm. Now this, this particular verse 19 lay very heavily on my heart. And this is the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord is saying to us in this nation Barbados. And I want to caution you by the mercies of the living God. God has brought us from a very long, mighty way. I, I, I believe that sometimes some people, they forget. 
But I need to stir up your minds and remind you tonight. Yeah. Even just this last year when it was those hurricanes yeah. and That's different right. things that were coming our way, we could be in a sad state. That's right. We could have been in a place where we are still picking up the pieces because this land is very flat. True. And we cannot bear any insults. That's right. And we see a, a mighty God, a, a loving God who uh, has spared us. Yes. I believe on every lip of every person across this island should be thanking and giving God thanks right. for his mercies Amen. that he has extended down to us. Amen. And that we should be uh, leaving out the murmuring and the complaining because even as we look at other countries and see that people are even in a dire state, in a dire straits than what we are. That amidst what we are going through, we are still blessed. Amen. Amidst what we are going through, we are still seeing the hand of God in our lives. Amen. And I caution us tonight to even as we are here as a people, I caution us, even as God warned the children of Israel, I am sending warning to this country, Barbados, yeah. that you do not forsake the decrees or the commands of the Lord, that yeah. you do not turn away from those spiritual landmarks that yeah. I spoke to you last week about the righteousness that exalts a nation, yeah. the honor that, that promotes people, yeah. those landmarks and the things that God has set up on in his word. I charge you tonight by the mercies of God, sinner or sin, that you do not forsake the decrees and the commands of God. You know what the Lord said to us? He says, if you follow after me and if you seek me, yeah. I will be found of you. Yeah. But if you forsake me, I will also That's forsake right. you. Yeah. And he's saying here tonight, this is a serious word that God gave to Solomon. And this is a serious word that God is giving to us. He says, if you forsake me yeah. and you, you go after other gods and you worship them, he says, then I am going to uproot you out of this land, which I have given. I want to say to us, this is the land that God has given to us. Amen. And we must honor him. We must respect him. We must not go after the strange gods. And we must not worship the Bihal and these other things that the enemy is trying to distract us with. But we must remember that it was God who kept this nation. As, a, as the, 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 the anthem says, for these past 300 years it is god that has kept and that has brought us through and i want us to remain focused in serving him as a people Amen. and do not turn away now to the, the strange gods and turn away to the the, the, the the follow and to worship these gods that we do not know but we must look to him because we do not look i want to say to you tonight if god ever turned his back on any person you have no other help. You have no other alternative. And I want to say here in closing tonight, we have no other help but God. Amen. And that is why God will, will raise up voices. God will raise up servants. God will raise up prophets to constantly remind the people right. when Amen. they're going astray, when they, they're forgetting God, when right. they're turning to their own way. God will always send a voice. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And no doubt tonight as I sit in this chair, you know, th th this voice is going out into the world. This right. voice is going out into the cars. Right. And I'm saying to you, do not forsake the true and living God. Amen. But look to him. Look to the rock. From as you are you, look to Almighty God That's because He is your only help. That's, right. That's why the psalmist in my closing says, I will lift my eyes yes. up to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help, what? My help coming the from the Lord Amen. that makes the heavens and the earth. Saints of God, all those who are hearing my voice, tonight I encourage you, I implore you, I beseech you, do not forsake the decrees. Do not turn your back on God. You know, the, the children of Israel, after God, would have done so much for them, bringing them out of the hand of the oppressor, right. leading through the wilderness, providing right. right. for them, right. and showing himself by a pillar of cloud, by day and fire, by night. Of, not so many, yet many of them forsake or forsook the Lord. And the Bible tells me that their carcasses. They were left in the wilderness because of their complaining and because of their ungratefulness. Right. Do not let this be named among us. But as we go forward from here, amen, let us humble ourselves. Amen. amen. Let us pray and let us seek the face of the Lord so that we can receive healing for our personal lives, healing for our families, amen. healing for our land. 
healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you richly. This has been the Rebuild of the Walls program coming to you from the Good Elect Tabernacle of Marshall and Parkinson Gap. Fairfield Road, through the Brace, St. Michael, where you can contact us at 622-1934 or you can drop us an email at gltabernacle at gmail.com. The Lord...